Hi, my name is Mark, and this is the love of my life, Aja. After retiring from the Army in 2018, my family and I moved from the States to my wife's hometown of Szczecin, Poland. She followed me around for 18 years, so now it's only fair that I do the same for her. She runs a Polish cooking food channel and blog, and I lift the heavy things. Once in a while, she shuts down the kitchen, and we explore Poland together to find as much good food as we can. Welcome to Kitchens Closed. Hello, my hungry friends. Hey, how's it going? It's Friday and Kitchens Closed. Today on Kitchens Closed, we are back in Szczecin. Oh, down. We're still in Szczecin. Well, no, because last time we were in oh, uh, right, Gdańsk. Sorry, sorry, so sorry. we're back in Szczecin again, and we're downtown. We're going to take you to a uh, very kitschy, cool bookstore cafe type thing with a secret past. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are visiting a butcher shop that mm. serves cake and coffee. That's located in uh, Kaminica. It's called Kaminica w Lesie. Yeah. And the word Kaminica actually refers to a building built in the pre-war style. Pre-WW2, not the one. Uh, and its characteristics you can see around us. And most cities in Poland, uh, downtown, old town areas, our old Kamenice. So we're excited to show you a uh, this very very interesting restored old butcher shop yes. that now serves cakes and coffee. Which is your favorite? Both. So it's, no, I mean which is oh, yeah. your favorite? Which is, is the my cakes favorite? And yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, so let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I'm here with the owner of Kamenica w Lesie, Monika Szymanik. We're going to be talking uh, about her uh, Kamenica, about her butcher shop, drinking delicious coffee, and she's going to tell us about the secrets of this place. Monika, please tell us about the idea of the cafe at the butcher shop. <laughs> yes, this topic is right up your alley. First of all, thank you for visiting. You guys are just so lovely. The whole story started about four years ago from me walking around Szczecin and taking photographs of the city. Then I posted them to Instagram. About a week after the premiere of my book, I saw this place. It was abandoned and I loved the tiles on the floor and the old doors. So we applied with the city and started renting the place. And needed a reno first. Slowly we started uncovering the tiles that were covered with plaster. They were old and a lot of them were missing, but it was important to me to keep them. That's why I started photographing Szczecin in the first place, to tell the story of the city from before and after the war. As we know, Szczecin used to be German, and it was important for me to that we identify with it now, which may be hard. Wiadomo, historia Szczecina jest trudna, bo to było wcześniej miasto niemieckie i ta, to budowanie lokalnej tożsamości też bardzo długo trwało, ale dzisiaj jest na to świetny, świetny czas. I tą moją przestrzenią chciałabym to właśnie, choć to małą cegiełkę do tego, że tak powiem, dołożyć. Monika published a book. The book she mentions is a book that she published, self-published. This is where we're kind of sisters. Uh, she published a book outlining uh, all the old buildings, old Kamienice of Szczecin. She actually just released her second book outlining and showing uh, Kamienice of Szczecin where she just walks around with just her normal phone camera or camera phone and takes gorgeous, absolutely beautiful pictures of Szczecin. Hmm. So let's move over here. This is the gorgeous wall Monika mentioned of the butcher shop. And right behind us over here are some photographs. Moniko, please tell us about the photographs here. Well, two years ago, a little boy from the photograph came to me with photos and clippings from a magazine about us. He was very moved when he told us about his parents, Adam Lewandowski and his wife, 
and then moving here into this butcher shop in 1948 when they moved from Paris where they lived before the war and took over the butcher shop from a German owner. They lived right here behind this wall. So this is this was also a butcher shop before the war. Yes, from 1904 when this building was built all the way until 1975. This is how old these buildings are. Yes, it was built in 1904 and from the beginning it was planned to be a butcher shop. The meat was stored in a basement covered with the cover like the one we see here. The animals were in the back courtyard. They were processed in the basement and then sold here in the shop. Yes, this was a typical setup with the animals in the back. And the gentleman saw the article in the paper and recognized it. Yes, and he also recognized the address, Pochtova 19, as he lived here from the time he was two years old, born in 1946. So this place was very familiar to him. This was his home. He remembers the sausages hanging here and the meats. He participated in the life of this place. He was very moved that we brought this place back to life. There was a school supply store here in the 1980s, but shortly after that, this place was abandoned, windows covered. He was very happy that this place was brought back to life and that it tells a story. He was happy to see the people come here and have delicious coffee and buy a book or just are here to experience old Szczecin. This was also very important to me, to show the old Szczecin and the history of it and the Lewandowski family. We are still friends with Mr. Michał Lewandowski. He stops by once in a while. I love this part of my business. It's incredible to me. Yes, very sentimental. Tell me, Monika, why do people visit you? I hope it's because, like me, they love Szczecin and they want to learn about Szczecin. I hope I can be their eyes when I walk around Szczecin and take pictures. And also to reminisce about the old times and remember their childhood. They go downstairs where it smells like it used to in Grandma's basement. Yes, I can definitely smell that. They look at the old artifacts downstairs, old doorknobs and window handles, and of course to have a cup of excellent coffee and eat delicious cake. Yes, my husband Konrad brews specialty coffee. We really have nothing to be ashamed of. He even makes winter flavors. We have pumpkin coffee this season, as well as marzipan coffee and apple cinnamon. Delicious. I'd like to go down to the basement, but before that, I'd like to find out what's happening with all these books. Please tell me about the books. Please tell us about all these books. Well, we don't have a lot of space here, but the space we have, we try to fill up. You can divide them into a couple of categories. We have children's books here, and also books about Szczecin, or written by authors from Szczecin. This is why we also carry your book here. Yes, yes, I love having it here, because it's not only written by a Szczecinian, but it's also self-published. I like supporting self-published, as I'm one. The books we have here are often signed, as we hold book signings and meetings with authors here. With children's books, we also try to support Szczecin authors, because the books are amazing and are quite successful in Poland. Authors and illustrators. Yes, exactly, authors and illustrators. 
So you can come here for great cake and coffee and also buy yourself or someone else a gift. Exactly. And because we're on Pochtova Street, Post Office Street, we also have a post box here. You can buy sp you can buy postcards, write them out. We also have stamps and drop them into our post box and we'll take care of the rest. Now also before the holidays, we have Christmas cards created by me. So you can write one out, have having coffee and mail it right from here. Yes, and besides that, there's the exhibit downstairs. We'll go downstairs, just watch the step. So this cafe slash uh, coffee shop, uh, cafe slash bookstore is also partly a museum. You can come down and in the photographs that are around here, you can see uh, the restoration of this uh, kaminica, this butcher shop. Uh, and uh, there's actually kept some of the parts of the building in here. And it's super, super interesting. Moniko, powiedz nam, <laughs> Please tell us what's going on down here. Right here where our restrooms are right now was the exit to the back and this is where they brought the meat from the slaughter. Today we don't have meat down here. We have an old laundry press from 1880 that was salvaged from the Denkmar po Pomerania Association. It is still a working machine that was beautifully restored. Here are some photographs of it being saved from a building that was being torn down in Szczecin. Today it serves as a display piece where we keep artifacts sent to us from Szczecin residents and other people who feel connected to this space and the city. Why did you decide to save this press? When the Mention Association told me about it and said that they really want to save it, it's an antique, but they have no space for it, I decided to keep it. Although my husband was not super excited about the idea. <laughs> we got it down here in pieces through the window and through the hole in the floor before the stairs were installed. It looks like it fits perfectly down here. You can place your coffee here and just enjoy looking at it. All around me, you can see there's photographs and not only of uh, the building being restored, but also, uh, also photographs that you can find in her books. Uh, tell us about the books you've published. First book, the one that started it all, Kamienica w Lesie, is the album that covered the first year of my journey with the camera around Szczecin published to Instagram. Second publication is the book published about a year ago, The Journals of a Szczecin Resident from Before the War. I met a man who wanted to look at the building I used to live in in Szczecin and found out that he used to live here. We looked at the apartment that he lived in and he told me he had a lot of journals from his sister who wrote them down from the perspective She was 73 when she wrote them down and they left Poland in 1946 when she was 11. He shared them with me and I put them in a book. Then there is the most recent album, it actually went on pre-sales today. It's the continuation of the first album, a compilation of three years of taking pictures of Szczecin. If you want to see Szczecin 
uh, outside what we're showing, this is a great, uh, gr this is a great book, and I'm gonna have a couple of copies available in my store. So if you're interested, you can go to publishyourkitchen.com, and up at the top, uh, you can click on bookstore, and I'll have a few books um, available for purchase. They're in Polish, but there's a lot of pho photographs, and you can imagine <laughs> what they're about. We wanted to thank you for allowing us to spend some time with you in this gorgeous space. We will definitely be visiting again and soon. But one last question. What are your dreams for this space and what is the plan for the future? I want to thank you for visiting me and showing our cafe. And as far as the future goes, we have to remember that we're operating in difficult time right now. We opened during the pandemic, there's a war going on in Ukraine, but I would love it if more and more people found out about us. I'm very happy that this place came about because of a dream of a book, and I can continue making my dreams come true. I'm very glad I can continue publishing. We wish you a lot of success and I hope that your beautiful photographs of Szczecin circle the world. There you go. That's our episode, friends. Thanks for tagging along once again here in Szczecin, Poland with our crazy adventures. I hope you put Kamienica w Lesie on your trip calendar. Yeah, if you're ever in Szczecin, come on by and see them. They're really nice people. Good coffee, good cakes, good books. And you support local business. Yes, always support local business if you can because, you know, they're local and they're business. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, so jump on to www.polishkitchen.com and check out the recipes as always this young lady makes over here. She's got a book, she's got merch, or just hit the follow, like, and subscribe and the buttons and the likes things and just come on with us and have fun. Yeah. What do you think? Bye. Bye. Love you, Daniel. Crypt that on your boobies. Yep. So we're excited to show you. Hold on. <laughs> Boom! Well, that'll be in the. Watch the poops! Watch the poops! Watch the poops! Watch the poops.